When you're at a museum, what's the first thing you want to do? You want to touch and feel the artefacts. We've been working with Professor John Magnuson and Dr Jay Mackenzie Clark, so you can do just that. As part of the Innovation and Scholarship Program, we have been 3D scanning and printing artefacts from the Museum of Ancient Cultures to bring history to your fingertips. The first objects we've decided to scan are those which are really delicate, frail or really expensive that no student is able to handle. Once we select those objects we want to scan, we take them to our setup at Macquarie Medical Imaging or MMI. Our basic setup is a geometric camera, DSLR and projector and with this we're using a technique known as structured light phase measuring profilometry to capture the 3D scans. Basically what happens is that a grid pattern is projected onto the object and the software then interprets the shape of that object. Now this interpretation is based on what is different to the original grid pattern that was previously measured during the initial calibration process. And this is what produces accurate 3D scans. This sophisticated system needs to be calibrated so that it can produce high fidelity scans each time. And once it's calibrated, we're ready to scan. We then place the artifact on our turntable, which allows us to continuously scan an object without stopping or touching it. And then it's as easy as telling the software how many rotations we want, whether it's a light or dark object, and how detailed the object is. What we get out of this process are multiple scans of the many faces of the object, which we stitch together and then form into one 3D model. Once we have the 3D models, we select the printing material that would be most beneficial for learning and teaching. Our aim is to produce a model of the highest level detail and closest similarity to the original artifact. At the moment we have 13 printouts and we aren't restricted to producing an exact replica of each one. This particular example is a cross section of a kylix, an ancient Greek wine drinking cup. Usually we have pictures or diagrams of things like this, but now we can actually show people accurate profiles of original vessels in 3D, which makes it much easier to visualise and understand. One of the main goals for this project was to produce a virtual library of 3D scanned artefacts, and this way we can increase their accessibility. And we also aim to create a physical library of 3D printed replicas, which can be used in different settings and by different people, especially the physically disabled and school students. The scans of replicas can also be embedded into teaching units and tutorials so they can be viewed and studied by students. And they also have implications for scholarly research as the objects can be analysed in more depth and from anywhere. And something that John and Jay also noticed was that details about the objects that were previously unknown can actually be picked up by the scanner. And for example, one of the Roman vessels actually has a small hole that no one knew about. And from a conservation standpoint, printing and scanning objects is great as there is no fear of damage. This technique can also be used in other disciplines and isn't just for ancient history. And it's programs like this that show how committed Macquarie is to research excellence. We are really at the forefront of technology, pushing and breaking boundaries so that everyone can have access to an education. Macquarie continues to produce world-class graduates and has always been innovative in learning, teaching and research. I guess you could say as history students that we're always looking to the past, but Macquarie is continuously looking to the future.